Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we got a highly anticipated video. Very highly anticipated. A lot of people have been asking for this and I did one earlier this year, but um, it's a lot different now. I'm basically in a new room and everything. So um, as, you see, as you guys can see by the title, this is gonna be a sports collection video, but mainly a baseball collection. 90% baseball, 9% basketball, like 1% football. So we're just gonna get right into it. We got a lot of stuff to look at here in my new room. And I just collected a lot more stuff during the baseball season. And uh, this is the most commented, requested video. So anyway, we're gonna get right into it. Um, I think this light's on. I gotta turn this light on a little bit to get the view of this. So this is the main part of the collection. This shelf is new. I don't think you guys seen this. Um, so first we got the bobbleheads. Collected a lot more bobbleheads this season. Um, trying to see what's from this season. Uh, Otani Rookie of the Year bobblehead. I believe this one, Strauss Slower Sluggers. I don't think this is from this year, but I got this at, at the minor league all-star game. Um, and a few other from this year, but yeah. So bobbleheads increased a lot this year. Um, and then second to highest shelf, we got the autographs. And this is probably the fa my favorite part of the whole collection because we just got a lot of different things. A lot of things were added this year. Um, I've had this for like a couple years now. I got this last year when Cody Bellinger had his off season after his rookie of the year season. So I didn't trade that much for it. Um, and now he's obviously having an amazing season again. Um, got Justin Verlander's autograph when he was signing at Angel Stadium. He's kind of rare to get. Joe Adele sweet spot, Otani. I got Otani twice here. Um, I put kind of the main things in the front. I have a lot of autographs here, but like the main players I want to show are in the front. Tommy Lestella. Um, and then I got this like a month ago. Felix Pena, Taylor Cole signed baseball for the no hitter. Felix Pena wrote no hitter. And then I should have got Taylor Cole to write the date because I should have had the date on it, but it's still obviously really cool to have this. And I got this signed like a couple days after they did it. I uh, just name a few people here, Mitch Haniger, Justin Upton, Carlos Gonzalez, Nelson Cruz, Brendan Rogers, um, Griffin Canning, Miguel Cabrera. Most of these also, I've gotten most of these autographs, a few of them people have given to me, but I'm actually like, I kind of want to trade if you're interested in any of these autographs, just make sure to DM me. And then we got here, the Mike Trouts. I should have way more of these, but like last year I was dumb and I did a lot of bad trades to trade away a lot of signed balls, but, and I give some to people. So I got four here. I actually have five, but I'm giving one to somebody in my backpack. So this was what I got in Fenway. But these four like pretty much mean the most to me. Got this one in Fenway, this one in Houston. Don't remember what this is from. These two are from Angel Stadium, I think. Um, yeah, that's what we got there. Um, first Major League Baseball I've ever gotten, uh, 2012. I think I said this story about this ball in my last collection video, but basically this was 50th anniversary logo. But for some reason I drew on the logo, I just covered it in Sharpie. I really don't know why. I was like 10 and just dumb. This is actually another signed trout that I don't, I think like one of my brothers got signed, but I just found in the closet. It's a really bad Sharpie and a fake Angels baseball, but I still have it. A um, couple old time players that my uh, friend got me. This one's Jay Johnstone, I believe. He inscribed like the whole part of the ball, which is awesome. And then we got some commemoratives. Mariners from 2017, from last year, Dodgers, the game ball. A's, Blue Jays, as you can see here. Um, I got this one in a trade and I snagged this one at Chase Field. And then we got some minor league all-star game balls, Arizona League 2017, Arizona League 2018, Arizona League 2019, Florida League 2019. Um, and then these three are probably my favorite three baseballs from 2017 when they had these different color lacing for Mother's Day. Memorial Day and 4th of July. The only one I didn't get was Father's Day and I was at the game 
They were using light blue baseballs for Father's Day. I didn't get it. Now they don't do it again. They only did it that one year. So these are kind of worth a little bit. If anyone happens to have the Father's Day baseball, please let me know. I'm interested in it. I'll trade a lot for that. I'm gonna turn this light up a little bit. All right, okay, down to this shelf. I got some interesting things here. Um, here's three Mike Trout signed cards that I've gotten. Got these two this year. Um, big Mike Trout signed card I got a couple years ago. And this is a Sharpie that he touched. It's kind of weird to have a Sharpie that he touched, but it's Mike Trout. Mike Trout touched Sharpie, so, you know, it's pretty cool. I believe this was from Dodger Stadium when we were right up next to him by the dugout, but I'm not really sure. Um, we got got these two from a friend, Wally Westlake. My friend is friends with him, so he got him a lot. And then these are a few players when they were on the Jet Hawks, I got them to sign. When I used to go to a lot of minor league games, I got them to sign the game day magazines. Garrett Hampson, he's in the majors right now. Uh, Brian Mundell, Sam Hilliard. Sam Hilliard's on the minus two, or in the majors too. He just got promoted to the Rockies. Mike Trout signed hat. Johnny Cueto signed cleat. This is available. Um, DM me if you're interested. I'll pretty much give it away for free almost. Um, Angels Stadium infield dirt. A little weird to keep, but um, I don't know. It's just interesting, you know? These are things I've gotten like a long time ago. Like, I don't know, it, it was a while ago. Like, I think, I believe I got them in Cooperstown like five, 10 years ago. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why I have Barry Bonds. You can kind of trash that I missed, but whatever. Um, Ichiro, like this is cool, you know. I got it a while ago, Andy Pettit. Roger Clemens, I should throw this one away too. Um, and this one, what? I don't know why I have all these, but I'm gonna put this back. I'm actually gonna pick this up because I kind of like them. Um, and this, I'm not sure if I talked about this before, but this signed card means a lot to me because this was the first signed card I ever got. And this kind of sparked a love for getting autographs. This was like six, some long time ago in Cooperstown, uh, when we had that. I just dropped it. <laughs> that isn't good, but this obviously really isn't worth much, but it just means a lot to me. It's part of his bat and then Will Venable signed. He signed it here and then part of his bat. So he's a former Padres player and he was on a couple of their teams. I believe now he's a Cubs bench coach, something like that. I got this, it was only $10. I've never had a major league signed card before and I didn't know it'd be like that cheap. Like I thought it was more of like a big deal to get a major league player's autograph. And then I got, um, I bought it or probably my mom bought it or something. And it's always meant a lot to me. And I thought it was so awesome when I first got it. And I still think it's really cool, you know? I mean, it's still a good card, you know, 21 out of 99. It was some card store in Cooperstown when we went there for the All-Star Village Tournament. Um, let's move to basketball for a second. I just started going to, I just started getting autographs last year in basketball. Um, and it was just graphing the Kings and Lakers, I believe. Buddy Heald, Bogdanovich, Willie Cauley-Stein. Um, I'm just dropping cards right now. Uh, Brandon Ingram, KCP, and then Lance Stevenson. I have a few more basketball autographs here, but we'll go into it um, in a minute. And here we got, I just have a lot of these, most of the unknown players that I got in like packs and stuff. Uh, Mark Worley though, he's the one good guy I have in here. And these are the cards that I've gotten signed. I used to get a lot more different players signed because I'd always go to the visiting dugout to get autographs. And I just have a lot of players here. And obviously, first of all, Albert, he rarely signs, but I got him in spring training one year. This autograph is pretty dope. 
I got him to sign a good card too. So yeah, this is awesome. Albert Pujols, then I have like the best players in the front, I think. Uh, Blake Snell, and then Juan Uribe, Ryan Rua. So a lot of players. I used to bring a lot of visiting team cards. I don't really do it much anymore. I got some of these guys in the minors, but now they're in the majors. Um, that's Renfro, Headley, so yeah. And then one more pile here. Uh, we got Jose Altuve in the front. Got this a few years ago and I was hyped to get it because he's an MVP. Uh, Fletcher, I just recently got in a contest on Instagram. Uh, JD Martinez and the rest of these are like from a few years back. Evan Gaddis, Brendan Rogers, Robert Grossman, Nara Cosmer, Will Myers. Um, anyone else interesting? Jason ha Hamill, Logan Morrison, Steven Drew, Kyle Seeger, Hector Santiago. So yeah, these are all autographs that I've gotten in games. Count how many cards I've dropped in this video. All right, those are those two. And I used to love Peter Borges. This is a weird obsession right here. These are all Peter Borges baseball cards. Really weird. I used to get a ton of these cards off Amazon. Not even eBay, Amazon. Really weird. And a few signed cards from Peter Borges. Three, I got this one in Tampa Bay. So, and then yeah, Peter Borges was on the Angels for like the first month, but then he got dropped because he couldn't get a hit. And now we got, these are all minor league signed cards. A few of these guys are up in the majors, like Giannis Ndaza. He just got called up like earlier this year. Here's a few Matt Dice. I got it signed on a horrible Sharpie though. That's when I wasn't very experienced with graphing. Uh, a few more Brendan Rogers. This one's really bad though, as you can see. Big smudge there. Um, rest of these guys, like this minor leaguers. Here we got a few cards that I've got in trades. Buster Posey, Corey Seager, and then Gordon Beckham and Buster Posey. These three are all available um, in a trade or sell. Just DM me if you're interested. Um, I'm trying to trade these away. So yeah, DM me if you're interested. That is that row. And then here we just got things that I haven't gotten signed yet. Oh, actually including this Clayton Kershaw signed poster that I got in a trade. Some guy got it signed at Dodger Stadium. This is also available. DM me, I'm looking to trade this. I can even send the frame out to you also. It fits perfectly, Kershaw signed photo. DM me if you're interested. Here we got, I'm gonna get rid of this um, too because I'm a Clippers fan. Here we got a signed like cup thing, signed by Josh Hart. Brandon Ingram, Lance Stevenson, and JaVale McGee. Um, Angels giveaway here. And here are all baseball cards. I used to collect a lot of baseball cards. Um, and I used to collect these Major League sticker collections. It's basically just like a book and you get, and you buy, buy sticker packs and then fill them out. This one I almost, I'll actually show you guys this because I almost, I was like three stickers short of finishing it off. And it's so dumb because you still have to buy a ton of packs just to get the stickers. But this was insanely fun. Like it was so fun to try to get this filled out, but it cost a lot of money for the stickers. And then a lot more baseball cards here, four binders, um, boxes here, binders there. A lot of baseball cards there. I don't really want to go into those. Um, and then we got these posters. I've gotten all of these this past year. Um, first of all, I think the only football thing in my collection, Patrick Mahomes signed picture I got in a trade. And this is a great football player to have because he's a future star. He's ar he already is a star, but so he already got MVP. Here's another MVP, Mike Trout. Another MVP, Steph Curry. Um, I got this signed last season. Um, here's a quick video of it. I actually posted it up on this channel, but then for some reason I deleted it because I was thinking about just having this channel only baseball, but I'm gonna switch it back to baseball and basketball. Um, here's Clay Thompson's signed uh, card, or not card, like a ticket stub. Um, I just kind of cut out the party sign. It's a really sloppy autograph, but you know, still counts. Jerry West signed 
signed ticket um, that I cut out, part that he signed. Uh, deer and fox. I got it in silver. I should have just gotten it in black or like blue, um, but I got it in silver. And then I'm gonna add a lot to this signed photo collection. I'm just gonna add a lot to it in the future. And here we got, this is basically my dad's, but we put it in here because this is kind of like a sports room. Well, more uh, specifically a baseball room. This is a really rare autograph, or this is a rare, I think only 10 of these were made um, and signed by Mike Trout and Kershaw, authentic. For some reason, a lot of people like thought this is fake. And I got like at least 10 DMs when I showed this, when I showed this last collection video, I got like at least 10 DMs from people saying it was fake. For some reason, they all think they're like graphing autograph experts, but I'm not an expert either, but if it's authentic, then it's real. Unless they're doing a crime or something. And this is 100% Trout's autograph, I know that. This looks pretty real. I don't know Kershaw's exact autograph, but there's no way this is an authentic. Um, another authentic Trout signed uh, photo right here. You gotta keep a lot of care to these two because this could be worth a lot in the future, especially with Trout, how insane he's doing. Here we got Garrett Anderson signed ticket from when he got had a 10 RBI game. Uh, ticket stuff from the date, so that's pretty cool. Here we got a lineup card from 2012. Trout was lead off. Really weird, right? Ibar, Pujols, Torrey Hunter, Howie Kendrick. It's fun to look at this, to so look at how weird the lineups were. And then, yeah, this is really cool. Awesome piece right here. Here we got authentic Torrey Hunter signed photo. All five of these things are dope. And we got a few small things that I've, I believe I bought all three of these. This is just a photo of Babe Ruth. Uh, signed Tony Gwynn Jr. photo, which I thought was pretty cool. And I like the guy, so I got this. And then Tony Gwynn photo. And here it is. This is just stuff I put up from the Angels no hitter. Still crazy, I can't even believe this still happened. No hitter from the first game after the death of Tyler Skagg when they all wore his uniform. I'm gonna do another video about it, just about the whole situation. Um, I'm gonna do that maybe after the season. And I just wrote some stuff here by no hitter 7-12. This was actually from the giveaway of the day. Rest piece of Skaggs, Trout, 450 for Vaughn, all the coincidences and stuff. Um, and then in the corner, M suck lol. And then here is just, you know, like a card and then Tyler Skaggs card. And then got some hats here. I used to collect a lot of different hats. I think in the future, I'm still gonna try to get all 30 MLB teams hats. I have, I believe, at least half the teams. Uh, Marlins, Twins, Padres, Pirates. Again, this is something I used to collect a long time ago. When I used to just be a, basically a fan of baseball, I'm not really a fan of any team. I just collect a lot of baseball stuff. Uh, oh shoot, don't get triggered at that, Angel fans. Uh, Reds, Jet Hawks. Astro, oh no, don't show that either. Don't show that either. Yankees, um, White Sox, D-backs, Orioles, another Padres hat signed by uh, Eric Hosmer. So what else do I have in this closet? We got these bats. This is pretty cool. Three minor league bats that I've gotten. This is one of the favorite parts of my collection. It's still, it's tough to get minor league bats. I mean, no, it's easier to get minor league bats than MLB bats. Like. They give out a lot more minor league bats. This is Jerkson. Uh, this is Jerkson Profar when he was in AAA. A worker gave it to me after the game. It was some AAA game. I think it's Sacramento. Mikey White got this in Lancaster. He gave it to me, and then he signed it the next day. Peter Borges. That's what my dad got in auction. Really dope of him because Peter Borges was my favorite player at the time, so he got it. Signed. Signed. Um, now game used bat from him. And then the last one is, this is like a shattered bat. As you can see, I kind of put tape around all these because they were kind of all like, kind of crack even more. And this one, which one is this? I totally forgot which who this one's from. Oh yeah, this one was from Cohen of the uh, Mariners AAA, I believe. It's pretty much shredded. It's barely being held together. Um, but it's still awesome. Here we got a lot of mini bats. I used to collect them when I went to like different stadiums. 
as you can see twins we got some sign or we got some a lot of angels here of course and then a few of them are signed like the isotopes um so yeah that's pretty cool and then i forgot what's in here oh yeah these are some balls that mean the most to me this is when i caught the best ball that i've gotten off the tarp i don't know why i have white out here i think i wrote something bad for some reason i put white out over it i shouldn't even wrote on this ball but you know i was young um in 2015 pnc park i made a great catch on a foul ball it's the best ball i've ever gotten i'll roll that clip right here oh, how about that my gosh what a play playing it off the tarp yeah. so he had to make that adjustment at the end of it saved that guy behind him didn't he went back to his backhand side yeah. just a great catch is 100th MLB ball I've gotten. Stater Bro Stadium. Um, MLB minor league ball number 100. Jonathan Lucroy foul ball when he was on the Rangers. Um, first foul ball I've ever gotten on the fly. First ever home run I caught on the fly during BP. For some reason, a random guy signed it. Um, I have no, I was just dumb with what I did with baseball back then, but whatever. Um, what is this? Ball number 400. Um, by the way, I'm at, I'm not sure the exact amount, but about 450 MLB baseballs and 350 minor league balls, I think. First foul ball caught on the fly. This was um, minor league ball in Lancaster. We got some random regular balls that I put by my desk just so I can like pick them up and like, I don't know. These balls I haven't wrote on. Oh, I don't know what this is, Margot. All the other ones I haven't wrote on. Um, most balls that I get, I write on the date, but I just have a few that I don't write on just to like play catch with them. Here's a few game balls. I need to add to this collection. I have more game balls, but I used to write on all of them. And these game balls, I write on a sticker so you don't write on the game ball itself. And what do we have in here? Oh yeah, I just started kind of a jersey collection. I'm going to collect a lot of baseball jerseys. Angels jerseys and basketball jerseys. I kind of just started this collection this year. So the first jersey is a Satchel Page jersey. If you didn't know, I was named after him. I haven't even, I'm yet to wear this. I've, won't, I've never worn it out yet, but I'm going to. Um, obviously I tried it on stuff, but this is just something that I wanted to get as it's like a replica. And this is dope, St. Louis Browns. Um, number, I forgot his number, 29. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, Magic jersey. Here's some Lakers jerseys. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. This is a Lakers jersey I have from a giveaway when I went to a Laker game. I'm not a fan of the team though, but I just have this jersey. Uh, Derek Rose, Timberwolves jersey. This is a dope jersey. I just love this design. Kawhi Leonard, Spurs jersey. Got this for like five bucks, like used and stuff. Kawhi Leonard Clippers jersey. This is what I'm gonna be wearing during the season. You already know. Um, Mike Trout, 4th of July jersey. Mike Trout, authentic jersey right here. This is what I got for my birthday. It's all-star game. Um, yeah, this is dope. Shohei Otani jersey. It's like a cheap one I got off like eBay. So it's not like, it's not even like a replica, but you know, whatever. Mike Trout signed jersey. I still need to get this in framed. I got this signed earlier this year. Um, so yeah, I need to get that framed. So those are the jerseys. Obviously gonna add to it. And now let's finish off the collection video and go downstairs to the garage where I got all my baseballs. All right, boys, just made it into the garage. Obviously this is the first thing you can see, but First, let me show you guys a few minor league buckets. I have like old buckets that I put minor league balls in. We got here, here, here. This is the first season though that I didn't really go to minor league games. Next season, I will. I'm gonna go to a lot next season. One more minor league bucket there. And then here are my major league buckets. This is mainly my old baseball that I've gotten. I got this bucket, um, this container. These are all the ones like from this year. Uh, Angels White Sox, 16th August. Um, just got this container. We're gonna run out of space in this garage though. Like, keep getting all these baseballs. 
my goal is to give away a lot more baseballs because I just have so much. And then back to this one, just another bucket of baseballs. Sometimes I look back at these and just see like the date and stuff. April 12th, 2018. Another 2018. Most of these are from 2018. Um, Chase Field, pretty cool. So yeah, not really sure what to do with all these baseballs. Thought you guys might be interested in that. So yeah, those are my Major League Baseballs. And yeah, that's pretty much my whole collection. I'm gonna be adding more and more to the collection. A lot of different things in the collection. I used to like to collect hats, I used to like to collect cards. Now I'm getting jerseys, so it's always like different things I'm adding to the collection. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you for watching. Let me go back here in the light. Make sure you subscribe. Check out my Instagram, link in the description. Also, I'm at like 998 followers on Instagram. So it's pretty cool to get to 1,000 followers. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this collection video. And I will see you guys next video. Peace.